Hello world, my name is Amelia and welcome back to another one of my videos. So, it's time again for an Ipsy video. And I also want to start out by saying that this is going to be my first Ipsy video for 2021. Um, also, anybody who follows my channel knows that I had my plastic surgery, healing's going great. Today I actually got my stitches taken out and my staples. Oh, I feel so much better to actually not have to worry about those anymore because brushing my hair was a pain in the butt because every time I went to brush the bristles were catching and it just hurt so much. So I look forward to that healing process coming along. It was interesting because I even went to church on Sunday and like my ex didn't even recognize me and it, which was interesting. Probably took a second. Probably took a second for my ex to actually be like, oh wait, that's her. So anyways, we're going to get into this. Um, <laughs> well, I'm actually going to get off on another tangent. I actually thought it was really interesting because I've always kind of had really thick brows. Um, but it's kind of interesting that now that I've had surgery, I noticed that my brows are like all over the place. And yes, I know a lot of people tell me, they're like, you got really gorgeous brows, they're really nice and thick and all that stuff. And yes, they are. And I, I have to say, I'm very, very happy that I was such blessed with brows. But I mean, like literally recently, I don't know if it's because now that my brow is like lifted, now I'm like seeing all these like wandering thin hairs and they're like wandering down the side of like... Um, the other day I was cleaning up my brows and like it was all down over here. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to my face? So anyways, um, that was a thing. So let's dive into this package. Let's not take too long to daddle. Diddy diddle diddle daddle. Okay, what do we got? Okay, at least it's not as freaky as the last time. That one time when I grabbed the package, it was so, so weird. All right. Ooh, hey, that's kind of cool. It's clear. Um, so we have this fairly large package right here. It's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of a shower bag. There's some pretty big stuff in here this time. Set this aside. Alright, and like I said before, I am so happy that they went back to putting all the details in this card. It makes it so much easier. Alright, so this first thing is a, a... Maybe it's perfume? Yeah, it's perfume. Uh, Catherine Melandrino. It's got a bunch of foreign language written all over the package. Um, Melandrino is definitely a perfume. I see the word perfume written in French. Uh, true to its name, this is the perfect perfume for all your special moments, weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, you name it. It combines a mix of juicy fruit notes, light floral notes, 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 um, and warm amber and vanilla notes to create one of a kind scent you'll wear everywhere. Tip, spray this on the nape of your neck. And every time you flip your hair, you'll get a yummy sniff, whiff, whiff not sniff with um okay so this is a deluxe sample it's like a pretty full package um and just like that other perfume okay i so here's a truth moment i've either worn really cheap perfume through my life or the other thing is is i just wore no perfume or just deodorant matter of fact i don't even wear much deodorants that's probably a horrible thing to be admitting. Um, it's $110 for the full version of this product, which is 100 milliliters, and it looks like we have 10 milliliters. Okay, so it's 10 times as much what comes in this package. Let's see what this smells like. So it's supposedly it's like a fruit smell. Hmm. Which, speaking of which, I do remember when I was um, in my teens. It's not bad. It is, a, it is definitely, it is definitely a very juicy smell. A juicy fruity smell. Well, say that ten times fast. It's not bad. Um, and again, also, I, I'm still 
COVID has still destroyed my sense of smell. Um, so on top of already not having the greatest sense of smell in the world, I had COVID destroy that for me. So I can smell it somewhat. It's pretty good. Um, not really worth $110 to me, but I do appreciate having a few perfume options. But anyways, when I was a teen, I do remember buying this one perfume for my sister. And, geez, I think I spent like $80 on this pretty large bottle of it. Um, I don't remember much details behind it, because obviously during that time it was not something <laughs> that uh, I was very much uh, into. Um, not for... Yeah, we won't talk about that right now, because that's a whole story. Okay, aha, ahava, ahava, if I'm saying that right. Um, this is a hand cream, sea kissed. <sighs> sea kissed mineral hand cream. It is important to hydrate your skin year round, especially during cold winter months, but it is easy to forget the skin on your hands. I mean, especially, it's amazing with the winter. This has actually been one of the first years my hands have been doing pretty well, but that could also be because I've been home a lot. Keep a healthy hand cream within reach. This one's made from Dead Sea water for a dose of nourishing minerals and skin soothing witch hazel, which makes you wonder how much water and salt is actually available in the Dead Sea for them to be making products from it. Like I actually had some Dead Sea salt my parents brought home from Israel one time. I'm like, how can they keep doing this? There must be plenty of water and salt available. Uh, tip, we love it on our hands, but the stuff works wonders on our dry heels too. Good tip. Okay, so this is a deluxe sample. Now that I can believe. Um, the full size is 100 milliliters and it's $24. There's 40 milliliters here. So roughly two and a half times what's in this bottle. Yep, got a seal. Of course, why wouldn't we have a seal? Almost everything has seals these days. Okay. Let's see. That's the problem. It's so much stuff like this. It's scented. So to me, I just smell it and I'm just like, I can't smell. <laughs> or I can't smell enough of it. Yeah, it's pretty plain. It's not very scented, which is good, actually. Um, there was a couple times I brought some of my hand creams to work because I work in a hardware store, so it's really like you don't want something over scented. Um, but, or overpowering just because of other people. But it, it's, it's very, very mild. Like, I, I barely smell anything. So I can definitely smell it. it it's going to definitely work really good. And then I'm just, like, dabbing in my face. Which, by the way, I only have eyeliner on. Um... Okay, so let's grab what's next. Next we have O U O M A Uma Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. I don't think I've gotten some mascara. My mascara seemed to dry up on me very, very fast. Um, every now and then mascara comes along to make us go, wow, this is one of them. For long and flourishing lashes with major volume, look no further than this gravity-defying formula that lifts, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes with avocado, jojoba, well, that's, hello? Yes, it is. Hey, Millie, I'm just calling from Casey Care Clinic to remind you. I'm sorry, to remind you about your appointment tomorrow at 3 p.m. Yep. And then it is telehealth appointment. Um. So, um. Uh, okay, so we do need your 2021 documents in, or your uh, appointment will be canceled. Which and we would have to reschedule it. Which um, documents? So, um, your demographic and consent.
don't understand why they had to cancel an appointment over that stuff. Especially when we're talking telehealth appointments. Like, idiots. Every now and then, a mascara comes along that makes us go, wow! I know, okay, I read that already. <clears throat> you know, I always hate how phone calls just totally, like, can derail, like, my videos and stuff like that. So anyways, tip. Swipe horizontally through your upper lashes, then flip the wand vertically to cover lower ones. Um, seems like a pretty standard suggestion. Okay, so this is also a deluxe sample. Actually, pretty much everything on here is a deluxe sample, except one of the items. Okay, um, full version is 11 milliliters, which is $19.50. Pretty expensive. This is 6 milliliters. That's about half of one. Okay. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I did not bring a mirror downstairs. Yeah, my office is now downstairs. That is an interesting brush, which I'm not very super close to the camera this time, which, yeah, we're still working on this. Um, I don't know if you can actually see a difference. But anyways, that's at least trying. Um, I feel like there's a glob on there somewhere. <laughs> that's the only thing I don't seem to like about it. It's pretty, it's kind of got snake skin on it. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's mascara. What can I say about it? There's not a whole lot to say about it. Okay, next up, we have, it's interesting, uh, Cossette Salt Scalp, Scrub Scalp, Scalp Scrub, interesting. Um, detoxifying Bamboo Charcoal, Mineral Rich Gray Sea Salt Nourishing and Dandruff Fighting Tea Tree Oil. This exfoliating scalp scrub is packed with gentle ingredients that lift away dirt, excess oils, and debris. The result? A healthy scalp that per, that that'll that uh, that will that'll promote gorgeous shiny healthy hair. It'd be interesting. See how that works for me. Uh, section hair and apply through the scalp, then gently massage to exfoliate. Wash as usual. Okay. Um, full size bottle is this is a deluxe sample again. Full size bottle is 120 milliliters for 24 dollars. Interesting that almost everything. Yeah, almost everything on here has always been a really expensive product. Okay, um, so this ball has 30 grams. You always hate it when <laughs> they say like, oh, the full-size bottle is 120 milliliters, and then it says 30 grams or 1.06 ounces. Let's see, a milliliter. See, of course, I'm not really good at the math. Let's see, is there a way to, what would be the best way to convert that? Because milliliters is a volume. This is, yeah, see that's odd. Because milliliters would be a liquid volume typically. Grams and ounces would be a weight volume. So yeah, it's very difficult to actually <laughs> figure that one out. Um, Something I should probably start doing with my videos is actually starting to try some of these products and then like come back later. Now, of course, I'm not like doing these weekly and I just dropped my card on the floor. Probably would make it a little easier to do these kind of things. Hmm. I can, ooh, I can definitely smell the sea salt. Or the salt. That seems, I like that smells like I would expect it. Of course, I have it all over my hands now. Um, let me see if I can get this card off the floor. There, there we go. Okay, so now we are moving on to the final item. Hopefully, uh, we can get this video ended quickly. Okay, nail polish. 
which of course the nail polish is the full size item. Actually, I have quite a few nail polishes already. I really need to paint my nails. <laughs> uh, say hello to your new favorite nail polish. You seem to want me to like all the nail polishes you send me. Not only is the shade of total stunner, the formula is non-toxic, 10 free, and 10 free too. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Which means as clean as nail polishes come. Oh, and did we mention it's chip resistant? Trust us, you'll be impressed with its lac lacquer, lacquer, <laughs> lacquer's durability. At this lacquer's durability. Tip, apply two coats of this polish followed by a top coat for maximum shine and longevity. Two coats. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of work. Um, this full size, regularly it's $7.99. Ride or Sky is the color. Ooh, it's kind of like a baby blue. Kind of like that. Don't, a uh, pretty woman is the brand. So let's see. I like the fan brush. It's always a, a it's always a, It's much too, it's much too thin for me. Again, I, I do like those nail polishes that are much thicker, that go on and, and have a really good thick formula. This is a very watery, again, a very watery formula. Just reminds me of a pretty typical, a pretty typical formula. I don't doubt that it works. Um, Yeah, see how, because it's, it's just kind of sets, kind of thin, I can see through it. So, um, okay. <laughs> so anyways, that was my January Ipsy bag. There's the bag again. It says dream on it. Like, it does, it reminds me of a shower bag. So I'll definitely have to take this upstairs and make sure I use it. Because that, that's something I do like to do, is I like to try to use my Ipsy bags as shower bags. Um, by putting like things in it and of course I like separate things. Anyways, I am rambling now um, and we are obviously really pushing the length of this video. I do not know how that happens. So anyways, do not like, do not, do not like, yeah, do not like this video because obviously I am a rambling fool who doesn't know better. Um, do not forget to like and subscribe, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do have my social media. I have been trying to revive my Instagram. I do get quite more posts on there, interestingly enough. Um, I do also post these videos to my Twitter, so if of course YouTube's ever being stupid, you can just follow my my Twitter. Um, I also post them to Reddit, even though I haven't really been active on Reddit the entire 2020, so that'll be interesting. So anyways, I am going to leave you here, and I hope everybody has an excellent 2021 let's hope this pandemic comes to an end soon i just wiped the nail polish on my face and um i love your faces bye now mm -hmm.